right now. Today is Sunday. It is um just a day to my birthday. Tomorrow is my birthday. Um, you guys wouldn't have seen this tomorrow. So tomorrow will be my birthday. So yeah, happy birthday to me. Um, but yeah, that's not why I'm here. Um, I wanted to just kind of like give you guys some sort of insight and kind of recap this vlog so basically again like i said in my last vlog i will no longer be kind of like pre-recording or rather i would be more like intentional with pre-recording videos because like um so when i found i used snap to store my videos i was i just kept on recording without speaking um so it's just like round and round and round of like footage with no conversation so um there's two things i either fix that and start to speak or i just completely stop and start to record in real time or go back to recording on my regular phone um and that used to take up space that's why i started to use snap but you know i'm gonna try to fix it and i'm just kind of explaining because like i think that that happened also in this vlog so basically um welcome to today's vlog um as you guys can see by the title it is um pretty much about my first week in colchester and um you know how it was it was really chaotic i know like i didn't speak on it because i was crying half the time i, I got lost so many times i felt alone so many times like my first week wasn't giving at all like my f so i usually have school about three four days a week um the first day of school i didn't go because um you guys would see i, I just got into school i had to solve my accommodation i didn't know my way around i didn't know how to find school so all of that was out of the question for me um but you know following days when i even did find school it was still hectic um and i wasn't speaking a lot because like vlogging was just the last thing on my mind it was just a chaotic first week so i decided to just put in the sec bits of second week that um we just i guess second week just finished um so i'm gonna pretty much keep you guys like bring you guys up to speed into this week that's why i'm recording this now because obviously this will go in and it would the footage will end to, as like tomorrow or sorry today or even yesterday do you get what i mean so it's an update of like from the first week to yesterday friday i think or you know at least the school the week of school um you know so there was a lot of me getting lost there was a lot of me crying that you guys may or may not see i'm not sure if i recorded any but i was a bro it was just chaotic okay let's just keep it at that but yeah enjoy subscribe and um please turn on that notification bell it's very important um so please yeah subscribe and i will see you guys when i see you bye um also i may or may not have mentioned in the vlog but i am um i'm going to the University of Essex in Colchester and I'm studying advertising, marketing and the media, um, you know, for masters. So yeah, in case I didn't mention it before, but y'all yeah, know. Cause I get a lot of like um questions on IG when I post like clips of my class and you know, sometimes it's funny memes they're showing us in class or sometimes it's just something funny basically um so yeah and then you know somebody's sending me oh what are you studying what why are you teaching you this i'm like advertising marketing stuff like that um so yeah that's what i'm studying hey also i should mention that i did miss um like a whole week of orientation and like um all the like welcome fresh all those new like basically i missed the orientation week so as soon as i got into school like the day i got here classes had already started um and i did miss my first class because that was the day i got to colchester so i couldn't find my way around so yeah my that you know i just wanted to put that out there you know so it doesn't look like oh nothing happened a lot of things happened let me tell you i have been here two weeks now right going to the third week and i can tell you for a fact today that if you, the way the school is set up here yeah, if you are not sure or if you don't know what you came here to do the tendency you forget that you're actually here to study and you you just play away because there's always some i don't know if it's because of like 
it's i don't know if it's because it's october i don't know if it's an october thing or if it's something they, they're just doing because you know people are there's new people around so they're using the whole of october to put out activities which i very much doubt because there's something called a fireworks night in on november 3rd um and some other activities lined up for like november as well like basically this school is filled with a lot of things for you to do like there's always events there's always activities there's always stuff to do there's always places to go you know and i really like that you know um you know that's great for like when you just want to get away from all this chaotic english um but yeah i just wanted to put that out there i did miss orientation week so there really isn't much um actually there isn't any orientation related anything there um in the vlog so yeah guys i feel like i haven't spoken or like opened my mouth to vlog since i got here so it's Tuesday, it's currently like 8 13 a.m. I should be in school, I should be in school already because my classes start today at 10. I have a class today by 10 from 10 to 12, 12 45, I believe. Um, and I've been in London since I arrived, and I'm just going to Colchester today. Um, I'm a bit nervous. I have to get to my accommodation to drop my stuff off. I couldn't go yesterday because I had to sort out my accommodation first before going today. So, so yeah, um, I had to go and sort out my accommodation yesterday. So I couldn't um, go to school yet before sorting out the accommodation because there was no way for me to stay, and I didn't want to be stranded. Um, so I had to sort it out, and then and then this morning I was supposed to leave really early, but I haven't gotten my SIM, I haven't gotten anything. So the person I was supposed to pick me up that was calling my phone couldn't reach me, so I had to call again and renegotiate prices and stuff like that. But um, you know now I'm on my way there, Sha, and it's 8 a.m. I have class by 10. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm, I'm hopeful, and you know fingers crossed, Sha. But yeah, just wanted to update you guys. Um, so far so good i do feel like i have been really nervous about this whole thing maybe after this week passes i will feel better i had like a really good time like with my friend but i think the nerves didn't let me 100 percent rest like i feel like if i had come a week before i would have been chill would have calmed down a bit more i do feel like i'm under i feel like i'm sleep deprived um because i i'm not really sure what the system is like here i'm really panicking because i'm like bro I wonder how they do their shit here anyway i've seen people talk about how hectic it is i hope my case is just you know not as bad um it's just different generally to be honest but yeah i just wanted to come say hi before before um for whatever man i just want to see day or well, actually i think i spoke to you guys in the morning and it is currently like past 7 p.m um i'm uh now in my accommodation i had to go to school today my first class was today but i missed it because i was still on the way coming but it wasn't that serious according to my like classmates because they explained everything 
you know and how you know i still had time to get my stuff together and we already have an assignment anyway um today was really hectic for me um yeah so when i had to start on my accommodation i also had to go to school to get some things in in check i had to get my brp and i also had to get my student id um i got lost like seven ten times it was just a really stressful day um and yeah um i just wanted to come update you guys anyway i got my id and i got everything i do have a class tomorrow at 9 a.m i'm not sure i'm going to get there i'm i don't know the way around yet um but yeah i'm still you know looking at it and thinking about how i'm gonna do it and then um yeah i feel funny guys but yeah i'll see you guys when i see if i remember anything else i'll be back to talk about it so bye um it might seem as though we have storage issues anywho i switch to snap now so that would work better for me as i was saying i wasn't really crying as much at the airport because i just felt like it's probably I always see them all the time and I will continue to see them all the time. It didn't seem serious to me. But then, you know, after the day I had today, you know, the whole rushing and getting lost and just trying to, you know, being in a new place where I literally don't know anybody here. The only person I know somebody in the UK, um, or at least the only person I know someone um, is in London. And I'm not in London anymore, so I have to literally start afresh from here. Even finding my classes is hard. Like, it's just crazy. And I just had to... That's, like, what the water had to fall. Um, And I hope I'm good now. And I don't make this a habit, to be honest. Because I'm just... I miss hope. But like, I don't even know if it's, like, the nerves talking. And I hope and pray to God that it gets, like, easier for me. Like, super easy and very convenient for me. And I just eventually find out that I've just been panicking for nothing, to be honest, because I don't know if it's what I'm seeing online that's scaring me or the fact that, you know, the first class today, um, they're already giving us an assignment due in, like, November or something, talking about crit anal critical thinking, something, something analysis. And I'm like, bro, what, what, how do I even, what do I even, how do I even start? And, you know, obviously, I'm trying to research and see how, you know, people do these things. And I'm seeing people literally break down on video, like, just bawling their eyes out because they're doing masters. And I'm just saying, like, I'm not really sure that this is what I want to do. And I just cried. My mom called. And then my mom asked if I wanted to come home. <laughs> but, yeah. Hi, guys. Welcome back. So, um, it's nighttime. I should be in bed. However, I do want to take a shower first and um i haven't bought anything that i need like to for baths and whatever um so the only thing that i don't have is this like box thing that i showed earlier um that my friend got for me um so i wanted to take some stuff out of it to use and i've realized that i haven't um unboxed any or to kind of show you guys first before doing that so i wanted to just quickly do this now and then every other thing that i um that she gave me i would show you guys later um so yeah basically it's a it's a dove um thingy set this um dove skin glow oil in milk body lotion that i love i've tried this before that's why i'm saying i love it because um if you're in this country it gets dry really fast amatan pro max not the level of habitat that we have i think i think this one is just more um intense um so your skin is always dry and stuff so i did try this one when i just got in i tried it like and it's really nice it smells amazing and it has like shimmer in it so so when you do like um you know rub it on your body and stuff you're glowing it also comes with this um foaming bath soak then it comes with like a sponge very fluffy it comes with a dove bar soap um in pink works um 
then the last thing in here is a bath salt this is it pink i really like this position that i'm like recording in i feel like it will be like a permanent thing because honestly this chair is fun it's, it's great it's doing the lord's work um so i don't really have a problem with this i'm not even wearing a mic if i'm echoing it's probably because of the self-motivation Cool. I do have to go back out now to get something. Um, but um, yeah, I had my first class today. It wasn't so bad. It was um interactive. Um, and all that. You know, there's a lot of read ahead of class. Um, like things there that they tell you to do. Um, a lot of like essays and assignments and coursework and stuff like that. So basically, um, I have some due next month in November, and I have another like one due in um August. I'm sorry, January. My goodness, where did that come from? Anyway, I volunteered to do like a some sort of like introduction to the lesson of the class, like for like. Basically, the lecturer said that you know people should volunteer to kind of like introduce the lesson of the week or like the yeah, topic of the week yeah so i just figured that i know myself and i just like prefer interactive sessions and stuff like that so um i was paired with one other girl i'm still in the eighth week that we're going to have to do that but you know um it's happening so i mean i guess that's cool i'm really nervous i don't know if i've said that already I'm very nervous about this whole master's thing. It doesn't look fun. Yeah. Anyway. I'm, I'm, bad. I'm going out now and I will see you guys when I see Baby, let's blow this pop stand. Seven thirty, seven thirty-seven. Yeah, seven thirty-seven. I just got home. I had a class today. It was fun. You guys saw the thingy, I guess. Um, so I went to buy some things, some other things that I need in my in my space. Um, I haven't bought a lot. I just bought random stuff, to be honest. Um, my friend and I. Hold on. Um, so we bought like this set of plates. Um, like it's like ten in it um, no it's 20 but we took like we both took like 10 10 and it was like five pounds and then you know i bought some stuff for like kitchen um i removed mine to put here but we got these like stuff for okay sorry about that my mom called anyway so my friend and i we bought like this cooking kitchen sorry kitchen sponge um, and it was like one pound for like 20 so we bought one and we shared it 10 10 i don't know what i'm going to do with 10 of these but yeah we just did that and i bought like some dish soap 
Um, I also bought um, what did I buy again? I bought some. Um, oh, wait, and then we went to Primark because she was looking for like a a duvet. So I I found this cap with K on it. Like I never ever find stuff like custom custom made or like you know with like alphabets like this of O. So I always have to go with like my first name for for merch or like you know even rings. Um, so yeah, I just got this one. Okay, I also got this stuff for like the toilet. I don't know how it works, but you know, I also bought this toilet brush. Um, and I picked this color because you guys, aesthetics. Um, and then I bought like a pack of hangers for like three pounds. Um, I also bought like these wipes because the kitchen i'm using is shared and i just feel like you know this would come in very handy what else did i buy oh i bought a um a, a charger to charge like my power bank as you guys can see it's really long i don't know why they had to make it this long but yeah i'm charging it right now and i also bought like a head for the charger which was like three pounds or like i can't remember how much it was really affordable shop basically um yeah, and I bought this top just for casual wear. It's um cute. And this is the top. It's really cute. Um, so I bought that and the I bought this dish. Sorry, soap dish because there's a bar soap in the Dove stuff that I showed you guys earlier. I'm finding the time that I start to make my bathroom aesthetically pleasing. I'm gonna be using this. Um, I also lastly bought this um new what well, new polish because. I don't know, I just like white new white toenails. Um so yeah, I think that's everything that I bought today. I had a class today, I don't know if I mentioned that earlier or if you guys saw that, but my class today was really great, very interactive. I feel like all the tears because I cried myself to sleep last night in like anxiety and fear and I was like a little bit homesick as well. And I feel like that class just really cleared up like every anxiety that I had sort of. Um, it was interactive and great. supposed to go up this Sunday um, so I just want to clear up and then take some of the stuff to the kitchen um, because I think I found what spaces um, belong to me now um, so yeah I just want to start moving some of my things to the kitchen I'm gonna take this because I put some things inside then I'm gonna clear out the table or rather um, this is incomplete so I'm gonna clear out the bed then um, then you know I'll do I'll do it in like batches basically. Um I do have some dirty dishes to do. So I'm gonna do that too. You I haven't thought about you in a while. I haven't thought about that beautiful smile and how it used to make my heart go wild. Why did I have to fall for you this time? time? You guys, so I wanted to say one of the other things that kind of shocked me when I got here was how um, they said that if in order for you to, you know, when you buy stuff at, like supermarkets or even the normal local markets, and it's just right for them to give you nothing to pack it with, here you have to pay for the bag. And I barely ever remember to carry a bag out. So I have like bags from like different places. So well, maybe now that I have, I will be remembering. But yeah, it's just one of the strange things that I found out here. And I know things have changed. And I know that we're not the same. But I just really need to know how.
9.53, I just got back in. I went out before, I came back, um, changed, and then um, I went out and then I'm back. I went to get water because the store in my building will close at 10 p.m. Anyway, I bought this new like thingy today. Very comfy. I really need a lot of these um, comfy clothes. I only have the ones for school, you know, but I'm going to get them in bits. Anyway, I'm having... Um, I found an African store. I don't know if I mentioned that before, but uh, an African restaurant rather. Um, so I found that the place yesterday and I got like some food from there. I got like jello fries, I think. And today I just, I was craving swallow. I still don't have pots and pans. That's why I'm not cooking anything yet. Um, but the more reason why I wanted to do this quick video is I think I made a new friend and I'm so happy about that because this place can kill you. I feel like the boredom in this place is on, a, is on another level and you can die of boredom um you know i ever since i've been here i know it's not been that long but still it's still telling on you like if you're somebody that's from like nigeria where there's people in your house all the time you know there's sounds and movement somewhere and somewhere but here it's just you and your room and your peace and quiet and i don't like that why why do i have so much peace and quiet what if i like noise anywho um so i've met her before the very first day i got here um, I got stuck at the door and she was the one that helped me. Um, and I, I, I've seen her only like once since then. We've bumped into each other. That's the thing about this place. You only bump into people and that's it. Anyway, so I saw her again this night and I had to just ask if she was doing masters as well. Turns out she is too and she's just as bored as me um, looking for, you know, somebody to talk to as well. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. I'm going to eat now. I found food again and then edit it. So yeah, um, I'm done editing the video that's supposed to go up tomorrow. What I need to do now is do the finishing touches, the thumbnail, my description, everything. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you guys like the video because the last video I posted, I don't know what's happening there, but something is wrong with that video. Um, I'm so tempted to drag it down, but you know, nothing is bad on YouTube. But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to quickly come and just share that good news. Hi guys. Um, it's currently 6.37 and... I'm about to go do laundry with Gigi. I haven't started my bank um, issues yet. So I can't um, use my card yet. I don't have a card to use. Um, except my Nigerian cards that I brought. And obviously those ones won't work here. 
So I'm going to do laundry with Gigi. Um, I'm gonna use her card or whatever. However, we're going to do it. We're going to figure it out. But yeah, basically, that's the situation on ground. I do not know what happened here. The first bit of the footage was playing and then my voice cut off in the rest of it. Anyway, I was basically trying to say that Gigi was going to help me use her card to pay or rather to put money on my laundry card thing and then I would be able to do my laundry with it pending the time that I do get my own bank account and my own um you know money in my card. So yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so I told her that's not possible because I left here less than 30 minutes to go. This thing takes 30 to 45 minutes to wash, right? I left, I put it in here. I left here to go buy pizza. I came back, dropped the pizza in my room, went to the third floor. I was there for like 10 minutes, give or take. And I came back down here. Even if he had finished, which I'm, I'm sure that it wasn't finished. Right, I do feel like if it was me, I wouldn't take out anybody's clothes from the washer. I would wait for them to come back. There's not just one washer. There's eight. We have eight there. The only one that was out of service and not working was just one single one. So even if I left the clothes there for, for two days, there were other vacant ones that she could have used. Of which, in my case, if it was me, I wouldn't touch anybody's laundry. Instead, I would come back to come and check until I find an empty one as every normal person should so then she, anyway it sounded very much um like obviously she knew she was wrong and she didn't want to be caught um and she didn't want to admit it so she was very much like that's so wrong and said d i'm like that's even fine if you say you didn't do it then no problem i'm not saying you didn't do it but if you tell me that you didn't do it i'm gonna take it as you knew you did something wrong is why you're lying to cover it up and so i just spoke like i didn't even i knew she was the one but i spoke like i didn't know so i just bashed every every living thing around so she would know in her head when i was leaving and then she goes oh i'm so sorry melanie I'm like, mm -hmm. anywho but yeah um that's what it i just dried the rest of it i sat down there waited for it and then i dried it and i left and i came to my room a couple minutes ago i still have a cold i've used pro cold it's still not going so i have like this nasal um inhaler that i'm using i don't know if it's working or not to be honest but i'm i'm also using pro cold i try to watch a bit of k-drama I do have some schoolwork to do. I'm going to try to put more egg, like extra effort towards it tomorrow. I have a class tomorrow by 10 a.m. I'm going to set multiple alarms to wake me up. I'm really glad I did laundry. Like, I was really obsessed with the fact that, like, I didn't have to spread it out for long. I just washed it, dried them, put it back. Also, another thing with the laundry thing is it just me. Does the machine rinse these clothes? Because they were telling me. You know, just wash it once, and then when it's time for you to take it out, it's already rinsed. So is that how it works? Because the laundry, the washing machine in my house doesn't work like that. You have to rinse it. You have to rinse your clothes, and then spin it dry. But here, it's like, it's rinsed, it's washed and rinsed. But yeah, you guys let me know if I'm thinking crazy. But yeah, um... <laughs>
four fifty four and I'm going to buy some pots because I haven't been able to cook since I got here. Um so yeah I'm gonna do that now. Yeah. Guys, um I just got back. I literally just got in. Um so I wanted to buy some pots to start cooking and doing stuff, but um we didn't see pots today at the store so i wanted to f check physical stores before like trying to order online but we didn't see any um pots or like you know for reasonable prices so um i'm gonna try like the online one i wanted to do initially then um we went to tesco we went to aldi but then in tesco yeah guys help me and see something so when we're in tesco um i wanted to buy spoons so Gigi and i said to buy like a 14 pack ones and then we would share it because like that would be two two set each so we wanted to buy that and then when we got to the checkout points because we were together um Gigi was going to pay for it um so when we got to the checkout point um she was trying to pay and then they said there was something that needed to be authorized so oh, we were like oh, okay cool let's call somebody that works here to come and authorize this thing so, you know, that was happening and we're like, oh, yeah, um, you know, we wanted to pay for this, da, 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 da. and then she goes, oh, um, she's going to need to see some ID. And then at first I was like, ID, um, it's just one, you know, I, I, initially I thought, you know, ID was for like maybe buying alcohol or something. So I'm like, okay, cool. And then she's like, she wants to see ID. And then Gigi had her BRP with her. So she showed her that. And I'm like, I didn't bring my ID here. Um, but I do have my international passport on my phone. And then she goes, no, they want to actually see the actual thing. Um, I'm like, okay, but then she's the one paying for it. You know, they're like, oh, because we're standing together or we're together, it means that even if she wants to, it's still the same. I'm like, basically, Shao, long story short, these people collected the spoon back or the spoon set. And um, that's how we didn't buy a spoon because I didn't have an ID. But the person that wanted to pay had an ID. Wild, 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 wild stuff in this place. Anyway, so we went to Aldi, Sha. So I, I, um, I, I wanted to buy like stuff to cook with, even though I didn't have pots. But you know, I put that on hold to try and check African stores. Um, but I did buy some things. I bought this thing. I'm very excited about. Like it's a diffuser. I want to put it in my bathroom. It smells really good. It is sea salt and sandalwood scented diffuser. I think I bought this one at Tesco. It's actually very nice, very very nice, and it's very cute. So yeah um i also bought like some pancakes ready to you know ready microwave type of pancakes and stuff um but yeah i just wanted to update you guys bye